Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to learn about drumlins. What is a drumlin? A drumlin is a landform of shaped moraine. It happens when a glacier moves over moraine that's deposited in the valley. It's not exactly known how they form, but we can theorise to how they come about. So this is how it starts off. Now these are different to Rush Mutones. As we looked at Rush Mutones and the formation of them before, they are actually part of the valley bed. They're just protruding rock, which is part of the valley. However, a drumlin is actually moraine. So this patch of ground is sorted uh, till, which has been deposited there. It is not part of the valley at all. So the drumlin characteristics. This is what a drumlin looks like. Now there's two slopes to it. The uphill slope is called the stoss and the downhill slope is called the lee. Now, there's possibly resistant rock in the middle of the drumlin, closer to the stoss end. Now, this is explaining pretty much how the drumlin is going to form, and we're going to look at that now. The formation of a drumlin. As the glacier meets the moraine, it begins to travel over the moraine. It doesn't entrain it because it doesn't have enough energy and can't erode it either because there's resistant rock located inside the moraine. So this is what it looks like. As the glacier is beginning to move over the moraine, it's not eroding it and it's not entraining it and it's going to smooth it as it moves over. So the resistant rock is there to prevent it from eroding. Then, as the glacier moves over the moraine, it now begins to smooth the material as it moves down the back slope. So as it does so, it's going to produce this nice lee as it moves downwards. It then gets this shape of the final moraine, which looks like a kind of half egg shaped moving into the ground. If we get a group of these, we can call them an egg basket of drumlins. Here are some questions on drumlins. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video for some time. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on Meltwater's channels. As always, thanks for watching and good luck in your exam. 